Uh, Councillor Rice. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I really want to start to say uh, thank you and for administration's hard work on this. I know it's not challenge. Uh, is is challenge is not easy for you, and specifically with the timeline and so many uh, changes happened. I want to say thank you so much and for taking uh, this challenge work um, and, and provide a very good information to us. I also I would like to say thank you to Mayor uh, Sohis and then so for put for your thoughtful uh, process, put everything together, and all your staff work hard on this as well. So I would like. Um, start to say um, yes, other city, and then infrastructure improvement is really important for the entire city, and how we build the city a great place for all Edmontonians. Um, transportation and public transit and infrastructure and long-term planning, and then how we do this responsibly and how we do this in cost-effective way, and then to look at um, the infrastructure moving forward. And specifically, I I do want to uh, voice some concern I heard through my own survey and through my own interaction and speak to the people about how we can break that reputation as a Edmonton, as a winter season and construction season. And then how we do the construction uh, responsibility from long-term perspective. And then, like I mentioned earlier, I really want to focus on the long-term planning and then to improve that cost-effective and also to improve and how we hold all the construction uh, accountable and then to ensure that accountability piece and in the place. Um, also, I, I would like to comment on and then our Edmontonians, all Edmontonians, and deserve to have affordable housing, and deserve to have a place to live. And then, so I'm totally support that. And then, that is actually to my, my heart, and how we ensure everybody to have a place to live, to stay. But however, and then, is about how we do it. And it's about how we ensure this shared responsibility. And from city's contribution, we do our part, and we we can ensure a shared responsibility, and then to be in the place, and then not, and then for us to put some money, and then to attract more money, and then I think that is something I would like to look into more. And also, I really support uh, the business and economic support. That is uh, development. That is uh, a larger and then possible and meaningful and then revenue stream can offset the tax increase. So I really appreciate that we have some items uh, on this um, bus as well. And then in terms of climate change and then uh, energy transit, I, I know our city, we have two, two strategies and right now in place. And then, but the question I received over and over from public is, do we have, right now our city, do we have that capacity to implement? Do we have that capacity, including financial capacity, and to do that piece? And then what's a better way and to specifically address this? And I, I think that is why I put amendment in motion and then try to say and then to assist our capacity and looking forward to the planning and then get what expenditure, what cost really could be and for us to have that. Um, I know I know right now and then through and specifically I heard over and over and the concern about um, increase, the property tax increase and also, my constituents told me they're not comfortable with the city taking additional debt. There is a concern about the city is not living with this mean. And then I think I'm really about concern about right now. It's just only for those uh, amendments. We already down to $16 million and then room and for the debt. And how to find that balance and then to ensure our pri pri priorities be implemented as our Edmontonians 
ex uh, as expect expected, and also the balance on the how the growth and the renew program and the build a city for all. So that is my speech. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Rice. I didn't want to cut you off, but I was just about to. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We